The state of emergency in Jackson, Mississippi, 160,000 people there still without drinkable water. People lining up for hours for cases of bottled water today, some finding they were already too late. But there has been a major development tonight, a pump at that ailing plant. So is this a temporary fix and will it make any difference before a real solution to prevent this in the future? Trevor Alt in Jackson for us again tonight. Tonight in Jackson, Mississippi, with 160,000 people without drinking water, news they've installed a new pump at the ailing water plant. But this is just a temporary fix, and full water pressure is far from being restored. And so far, the water is still not safe to drink. Jackson's mayor today hopeful the pump brings at least some relief. The new pump at OB Curtis is in, and it is pumping. Uh, so we are grateful uh, for that addition to the treatment process. It comes as Mississippi's largest city lined up again today for drinkable water. Their taps at home still either empty or unsafe. David Jones, one of thousands at this distribution site. We can't drink it, we can't cook in it, and I'm scared to bathe in it. The demand is nearly impossible to meet. Tuesday, the city running out of bottles to give away. Local businesses battling one crisis after another, COVID, flooding, and years of water problems. We have employees to take care of and families to feed. I mean, if I close, people don't get paid. Malcolm White owns Hal and Mal's Restaurant, a Jackson business of 37 years. Do you think they will figure a solution out? They don't have any choice but. There is no other alternative but to abandon the city. David, this new pump means some Jackson residents should have water pressure tonight, and the mayor's hopeful it'll be fully restored by the end of the week. But the boil water advisory remains in effect. David, even if this water flows, it's still not safe to drink. Yeah, they still David. have to boil it, so they need a permanent fix at some point here. Trevor, we're going to stay on this. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.